One, two, three, four, and 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 one. One, two, three, four, and 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 one. Next, we will dance the crossover breaks forward. The man's and the lady's parts are the same, so we will demonstrate this side by side. We will once again begin with a side step to the right with our right foot. We will go right foot side, quarter of a turn to our right, left foot forward, right foot back replacing weight, quarter of a turn to our left, left foot side, together, side, quarter of a turn to our left, left foot forward, right foot back replacing weight, quarter of a turn to our right, and side together, side. Doing that once again, we will go right foot side, left foot forward, right foot back, side together, side, left foot forward, right foot back, and side together, side. The timing. Stepping on our right on beat one, one, rotate on end, two, three, rotate on end, four and one, rotate on end, two, three, rotate on end, four and one. Okay, so the ladies part is going to be once again the natural opposite and we will begin with our left foot instead of our right. Now gentlemen, you can also lead this from a close hold. How to change from close hold into our cross over break is that if we can also have a, a, a close up on the hands, is that from this hold I'm going to lower my hand I'm going to open it, but I will keep in contact with her hand. Her hand's going to remain horizontal while mine is going to be vertical. As I do this one, I also let go of my right hand. Now one thing I would like to add to this is, ladies, this is when you get to be a ninja. And what we're going to do is, as he opens up his fingers, opening up that palm, we're going to also open up our hand and do something I like to call the karate chop. So I'm going to demonstrate that karate chop. So he opens the hand, and I take the side of my hand and I go chop. Yeah? No, I'm not going to actually chop him, but that's the position of my hand in his palm. And I'm going to drop it down connection outwards. Then he's going to close his fingers around my hand and we continue with the crossover break. As we proceed to do the crossover break itself is that the most common mistake we do is that we do not let the lady know our intention. How I will do it is I will make sure that my hand is in front of my hip bone and I just keep it in front of my hip bone. So as I rotate it's still in front of my hip bone and I maintain that connection. And of course, the same applies on the other hand. I keep it in front of my hip bone. The other thing to keep in mind is that when you're doing the crossover break, the really beautiful part of this move is in the collection of the ankles, and I call this the sweet ankle love of the move. We go side together, side, chasse, side, together, side, and we collect, and our ankles are squeezed together for that beautiful sweet ankle love, and we take that forward step with a beautifully turned out foot for our crossover break, taking very, very great care to not banana foot which will really kill the move. 
And that is our crossover break forward. Thank you.